So I wanted to share with uh, our viewers what exactly we do with the stuff that we harvest, because you can't eat all this stuff. Heck, it's hard to even share and give all this stuff away. So tell us about the canning and what kind of canning and stuff we're doing here. Most of the stuff here, except for this, is cold canning, meaning that I can it and it goes directly into the refrigerator because I'm just trying to preserve it for a couple of weeks to a couple of months maybe because my family will eat this stuff very fast. We have the pepperoncinis that get pickled, we have um, serranos and jalapenos, they get pickled and they last longer in the refrigerator. Um, but the pickle or the cucumbers that I pickled, these go very fast in our house. So. But they don't, the cucumber don't go as fast as without rotting on the, on the counter or in the refrigerator. So I just pickle them so they last a little bit longer so my kids can get to them and eat them on sandwiches or whatever. Same with pep, the banana peppers and the pepperoncinis. I just pickle them and we can't keep this jar full. My kids go through it really fast, but today they're going to get two jars, which is very exciting for them. And then um, I did the same thing with some habaneros that we had. Greg wanted you to see the habaneros. This is my favorite. This is from last year. Yes. And these do not go very fast. <laughs> they don't go very fast, but they do stay cold can pickled in the refrigerator for a long time. We haven't had any issues with them. These are from last year. Actually, these are from 2011. I just and used some in salsa the other yeah, day. Yeah, so they're, they're doing great. Um, I only put dates on them if they don't get eaten very quickly. This is one of those things. I also cold can... Um, cabbage and what I do is I ferment this. So this will sit out on the counter for a couple days, ferment, and then I will stick it in the refrigerator to stop the fermenting process. Um, what is the benefit of that? It's very, fermented food is very good for your guts. It makes you feel better, it keeps your flora balanced, and it, it's better than taking over the counter like acidophilus and stuff like that. It has everything you need in it, so it's actually very, very good for So you. it helps your digestion? Extremely, yes. Cool. Um, this is pressure canned. So this one's been in the cabinet. Um, it's different. It's a little bit thicker. You'll notice the stuff inside's a little thicker. And um, it, what do you mean it's thicker? The juice inside's thicker. This because it's been cooked. These okay. are cooked. These are not raw. This stuff is considered raw because this has not been cooked. All right. Um, and so for okra, would you do like water bathing or no? All pressure the canning? get pressure canned. They do not have a high enough pH level to keep them from going bad or growing botulism. and so all of them get pressure canned. Um, all vegetables do. Um, so when you pressure can the vegetables, about how long do you think they'll keep generally? You know, that's, a, that's debatable. According to the CDC though, within about five years is about what they say generally. Um, but some people eat stuff that's been canned for 20 years and it's not ever causing a problem because it was canned properly. So. Mm. If you're canning correctly, you're not going to have any problems. If you don't know what you're doing, um, read a book. There's lots of them out there. Or watch our videos because we're putting out stuff about canning and that sort of thing um, to help you know and learn how to do this so that you can preserve your own stuff. So we're going to be doing a lot more canning videos? A lot more canning videos to come.